Hello Zers, what up? Welcome back to Julia Z and well for today we have to talk about Dimension Mission. Uh, to be honest I already made a video about this but I didn't really like how it turned out. It was a bit too long and you know it was pretty annoying to be honest. Hopefully this one isn't uh, and well to be really really honest basically uh, my lights went out at home when I was at work uh, at, and actually uploading the video or uh, exporting the video I don't remember and that's why I actually just uh, couldn't upload it and at the same time they posted that day that uh, oh look we have to talk about the dimension missions and for the star agent that got, uh, gets the most likes on the uh, forum uh, they will get a thousand crystals as rewards. So if you like this video, please go ahead and like it under here and also go ahead and like it on the forum as well. That will really help me um, with the freaking uniforms because I on uh, only have like eight crystals right now. Yeah, I swear, eight freaking crystals. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the new uh, revamped game mode that is Dimension Missions. Uh, as you very well know, we don't have daily missions anymore, we don't have special missions anymore, we don't have Dimension Rifts anymore, we don't have Villain Siege anymore. So basically four different game modes are removed and we get Dimension Missions now. Uh, I don't think that uh, Villain Siege is being replaced by Dimension Mission. Yeah, but it kinda is in a way, we do get clear tickets and stuff like that in here and ISO 8s. So yeah, it, it does make a bit of sense. Uh, actually, we don't really get hidden tickets. Uh, hidden tickets here. At least we get them on uh, World Boss Ultimate or World Boss, and that is actually good because you get them uh, on each clear. It's not random. It is actually guaranteed that you'll get a bit of clear tickets uh, for sure. Now this is the main screen that you're gonna see when you go to Dimension Missions as you already know because I know you've uh, gotten the update now so that's good um, now basically this is what you're, you're gonna see difficulty one uh, now if you go to the patch notes there will be a, like a really good explanation on the difficulty level and the rewards you're gonna get and basically that uh, the ability to go to 7 requires you to be agent let's say 15 uh, agent level 15 and stuff like that and basically the ability to go to difficulty 10 requires you to be agent level 60 if I remember correctly and that will allow you to get 6 contribution points uh, for each clear so basically one clear you get 6 of these out of 30 and that means that in just 5 clears you can get 30 uh, contribution points which will allow you to open the reward immediately so in just five clears you'll be done with gold farming and uh, that will be amazing then on the next one you will get the uh, rift tokens you get like five thousand of those uh, after that you will get the cards uh, the card chest basically and that will require five more so in my opinion if like if you want to go about your daily order of missions I would still start with dimension missions I know it's weirder now because they aren't like they have don't have a limit uh, but I would repeat this 15 times the first time so basically uh, enough for you to get uh, the gold the first batch of rift tokens and then the cards or the card because cards are really important and uh, that is actually pretty okay to stop at and then waste your energy or use your energy for the next missions that would be the epic quests all of them basically I, I use my energy to clear everything in the epic quests uh, you kind of want to get all of the bios and then do the danger room mission uh, if you have it in the challenges because now we get that as well as a requirement in the daily challenges uh, there you go, they want you to participate in Danger Room, so basically the same even for the, uh, um, I guess the event uh, uh, quest that happens after the update, that you get a bit more tokens uh, that you can spend on the shop. So after you've done the, mesh, uh, the Danger Room again, if you still have more uh, energy, then you can opt 
into doing giant boss raid if you really need to type enhancements to uh, probably enhance the typing of uh, Spider-Man or uh, Thanos in order to get the ch CP chest and then after that you can go with giant boss uh, or not giant boss but uh, world boss invasion if you actually need uh, lots of bios because that is the best place to get bios on if you actually just play uh, world boss invasion you're gonna get a lot of bios I swear I swear if you play daily and you, you use all of your energy in there and not in uh, giant boss raid at all uh, you're gonna get a lot of bios Instead, uh, if you don't really care about that, you can go back to start uh, to uh, dimension missions and pretty much keep clearing until you have enough energy or uh, until you're satis satisfied. It's gonna be really hard to uh, get all of the rewards from this game mode. So basically, you get uh, you get gold, you get the earth tokens, you get the card, you get rift tokens, you get. Uh, uh, the ISO 8 you get rift tokens and then you get the uh, what's, uh, what's the other one I think it's the obelisk one I, I don't remember uh, but basically it's like seven rewards that you have to get and uh, in order to for in order for you to do that you have to clear the uh, dimension missions at difficulty 10 8 uh, or not 8 but 35 times to do that you have to waste a lot of energy and it is almost impossible unless you're going to spend all of your energy in here uh, basically I swear it's good enough to do just 15 and that will be okay because basically it would mean that uh, with, uh, with 10 clears if you have full boost point or if you waited again to get the full boost, uh, boost points again uh, you will have to uh, waste like 80 energy and if you want to do 35 of those for 30 you have to waste 80 uh, times 3 so that would be like uh, 240 energy and then you waste another 5 which would be another 40 and that would be 280 energy just on this uh, missions which is pretty nuts if you wanna actually use energy for the epic quests and farm these characters or just farm these tracking missions for the ex genes and bios so that you can have them for later I don't know it depends you could go uh, with uh, farming the epic quests or you could instead uh, leave them after you've tier 2 the characters and uh, do some giant boss raid and after that do some world boss invasion uh, more than you would just to uh, make up for the bios that you're not getting from the uh, epic quest farming so it's all up to you to be honest even for me it's a bit uh, weird now uh, right now I am just gonna do 15 for the time being just to get the card and then after that I'm gonna go with the normal uh, missions that I would do I'll uh, I'll see about it if I like it or not and then I'll go back to uh, maybe doing world bus invasion instead of my tracking missions and stuff like that but yeah no idea yet it is kind of weird it is kind of annoying uh, it, it has a lot of energy requirement and yeah it, it definitely is uh, like it is inconvenient in a way now you're gonna get those reef tokens right and there you go you have the support shop or yeah it is called support shop uh, right here you can get bios for different characters that they decided to put in here uh, I'm almost done with a lot of them or probably done with a lot of them and I don't think it is uh, worth the amount of uh, Rift tokens that they require for uh, the amount of uh, bios that you get but at least for me uh, though because you know uh, for you it might be okay you get like uh, 10 uh, bios for 1600 uh, Rift tokens uh, which is a bit too much because uh, if you do my way of uh, farming you're gonna get like 5000 uh, Rift tokens or just a little bit more so it is definitely a lot you you can only buy tw uh, two every day uh, though it, at the same time it's not that bad because uh, you basically are doing 15 entries instead of 20 that you do that you would do in, uh, in special missions uh, but the energy uh, that you've spent is way more than you would have spent on uh, special missions you, you spent like 20 more energy to get the same 
uh, even though you're gonna have a bit more uh, of these left maybe you can actually purchase three I really don't uh, know the numbers but yeah instead you could go with material you could get known stones of different typings uh, you can get uh, m current shards which I wouldn't actually recommend because they are uh, limited and you can pretty much uh, farm them to the cap limit uh, from other missions in any way. Uh, gear up kids, dimension rifts, uh, dimension debris, these are definitely gonna help the new uh, players so that's why they're here but if you're a veteran or you, you're an intermediate player you don't really need them. For the upgrade items these are very good as well so you know that uh, you're, you're not gonna get a lot of cards anymore from uh, Dimension Missions is gonna be a bit rare now and uh, basically what you would do instead is do Cosmic uh, Card Chest purchases you can do two of those I guess you can buy two of those uh, if you do Dimension Missions at least 15 players like I said and that is a pretty good amount of cards that you would get so that is basically the shop I'm guessing they will uh, increase the number of characters that you can buy bios for in there so that is pretty good um, the available rewards are uh, except for contribution rewards are also the uh, rift tokens you get a small number like from one to maybe five I don't know uh, for sure uh, rift tokens for just entering the floor so basically if you don't clear it and you actually auto play it or manually uh, do it you're gonna get a small number of rift tokens this is basically uh, gonna increase over time so you're not really gonna notice it but it's pretty good to just auto these missions um, I don't know if it's that worth it just for five rift tokens to actually spend your time and auto 15 missions or even more if you're doing more but why not you kinda wanna see your uh, characters destroy some stages you don't really wanna clear ticket everything so that would be pretty nice um, you get lots of Norn stones uh, or different Norn stones, pretty much all of the different <laughs> typings. You get Memcraft shards, uh, gear up kits, dimension debris, uh, component packs, blueprints, uh, uniform upgrade kits. You get uh, ISO 8s from 1 to 4 stars, uh, or actually 5 stars. Uh, you get uh, Oros from 1 to 3 stars. You get obelisks from 2 to 4 stars and cards from 1 to 3 stars. Cards are really rare to be honest, like if you compare them to Dimension Rifts they are definitely very rare in here, um, but yeah, uh, if you actually go and uh, start one of the missions, I will start one just to, to show you something, and there you go. I wanted to show this, oh wow, inventory is full in here, really? It's not full, what the hell, it doesn't show us full there, what the hell. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna do it like this. Wow, what the fuck? <laughs> okay... It's not really full, what the hell? Uh, what do I sell, bro? Uh, sell all these. I don't know if this will work, but let's try it. It's not like I'll use those, but... It's a bit annoying that I'll have to do this. It's not even gonna help a lot. Maybe if I clear or just uh, upgrade all these. Come on, test build. Why are you doing this to me, huh, Net Marble? What is this? What is this? This is annoying. It's gonna make the video way longer than it has to be. By the way, the first keyword is going to be replacement, so just remember that. And uh, yeah, it's working now. So basically, the last thing I wanted to uh, show you is going to be the the actual missions. They are very easy as long as you have a good character with high frames and stuff like that. You you really don't really need to care. Uh, they're way easier than the uh, hard missions from story mission. Uh, but basically what I wanted to show you is this, the reward info, you can actually see what you've gotten uh, from your mission uh, from playing different rounds. So basically that's why playing this on uh, auto is still going to be okay because you can check, for example, you're not paying attention and you actually uh, are like, oh wait, which mission am, am I running now? Which round am I on? 
you basically can tap on these three uh, little dots in here and check out the uh, rewards that you've gotten you can check out the gold that you've gotten you can check the the which round you're on you can check uh, your contribution points that you've already uh, farmed but yeah as soon as we go on to the second round you're gonna see the difference so basically the only thing that you're gonna see in real time is gonna be the character XP like you would uh, before like you would see the character XP on the left on their icons right here if you can see the mouse yeah I think you can so right here before you would see the experience that they have gotten it would uh, it would actually pop up in here you would see the level increase but now that is actually the only thing you're gonna see sadly I have everything maxed out because of course this is a test build but these would move if your characters were low in levels if they were a high they they would still move but it wouldn't be as noticeable right here you can see the uh, different rewards that you've gotten from the last round you can see that you're playing around two you can see the different uh, or the uh, the actual rewards that you got from the last round or that you've got until now so just basically if you play uh, till around 10 you're gonna see a huge number of all of the items right here because basically it accumulates every item that you've gotten and shows you everything you've got until now so yeah that is actually really really nice uh, I don't remember if that worked on other missions as well I can uh, test just for fun to play one uh, one of the uh, epic quests for example just to see what uh, what would show if it is uh, actually showing in there or not actually to be honest I don't remember uh, I don't think that I can enter these Oh, okay I cannot enter these so yeah I cannot tell you you can probably check on your on your own if they did that because I, I actually haven't paid, paid attention when I played this game since uh, I'm playing on a crappy phone as you know my phone broke uh, but uh, I haven't paid, paid attention to see if the same three dots will appear on epic quest missions as well just so you can see uh, where you're at and on your clearing but yeah anyway guys I'll leave you to the giveaway part of this video video but yeah if you like this please uh, like it down uh, down on the uh, freaking YouTube page and also please like like it on the uh, forum and help me maybe get a reward <laughs> yeah I'll see you at the giveaway part of this video okay so let's actually pick the winners for this video's uh, winner selections and pasted the link let's get the uh, keywords right now it was broken phone yay actually there you go 10 uh, people who are eligible to win the giveaway so let's start the code or the, let's type, uh, start the winner selection right now the first winner is gonna be goat rider the skill by the way goat rider it's been a long while bro and congrats the skills look really beautiful but not substan substantial changes to the damage with the only exception being rogue and maybe quicksilver uh, when will your broken phone be fixed probably uh, at, on the end at the end of uh, November because that's when my sister is gonna send some money for my parents anyway and uh, yeah I've, I've been a huge burden to her yay for me let's go with second winner <laughs> yeah I kind of need the phone you know because if I didn't really need a good phone I really wouldn't really care uh, I'm not even gonna try to uh, say your name I'm skipping everything I will wait for Black Friday to buy Rogue and Quicksilver when I get 400 CCF I feel bad for your broken phone at least tell me if it wasn't <laughs> at least tell me it wasn't an expensive one. Oh man it is an expensive one it's the S10 plus it costs like uh, $300 just to fix the screen so basically it's like buying a new one or a new normal one so yeah it, it definitely sucks but uh, it would be very sad to just leave it like this because it was expensive uh, let's pick the last winner right now um, and the winner is gonna be drum roll okay Ghost Rider you already won right <laughs> I gotta pick another one okay uh, you have very good luck apparently uh, the winner is gonna be Mia Khalifa oh wow you're a fan I'm a fan not really I haven't watched her videos at all I don't really like her she looks very I don't know not in my taste I really liked Sabretooth's uniform because it's unique I will buy it his damage looks better I dropped my old phone so now it's a broken phone but I got a new one and motherfucker looks way better 
<laughs> Why did I read that as a motherfucker? That is Marvel Future Fight. I'm sorry, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, a Marvel Future Fight just looks so amazing. And the funny part is, like 20 minutes or 15 minutes before my phone fell out of my hand, I was uh, walking on the street, by the way, and there was a huge sunlight and basically what Samsung does on their phones is that when it sees that there's a huge light uh, from uh, the sun it increases the screen brightness like almost to the max and you can see the colors just pop out They they look beautiful and I'm like dude I love this screen I really love this screen and then 20 minutes later it breaks yay <laughs> so yeah man it it it's sad but yeah congrats on your new phone i guess and congrats on winning this uh, this uh, crystal coupon anyway guys uh, i will have another giveaway tomorrow so don't worry at all just remember the first keyword that i said on this video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment what you thought about the dimension missions and lastly please go over at the forum and also like it in there just to show who's the boss to other star agents why not <laughs> I guess I'll see you tomorrow guys bye bye